Welcome to the hottest entertainment blog on the internet today, The A-List. I am your host, Wes Troop, and you know it's been a good night when you wake up in the morning and you got quarters flying out of your ass in the shower. Do you know how many times it's happened to me lately? Anyway, <laughs> I'm like a frickin' uh, slap machine. Ching! All right, winner. <laughs> well, as you can see, the Earth is still here. We are all still here. What a shock. So, uh, Mr. Predictor and all of your predictees, guess what you were? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, this past week, there was a lot of going on in the reality world. So, we're going to kick it off with my reality report. Or over there, maybe. Anyway, no matter, nonetheless, we came to play. So, this week was the finale of the two big shows we cover on here, actually. Dancing with the Stars. And your winner was Heinz Ward. I get, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Heinz Ward took home that ugly ass mirror ball trophy. And uh, coming in second was, what's her name, Kirstie Alley, <laughs> with Max, who was dancing in a cop uniform for some reason. And uh, in third place was Chelsea Kane. Uh, a lot of people were surprised she didn't nab second, but I think she wasn't as known. Um, so Kirstie got second, and of course Heinz won. So not a bad season of Dancing with the Stars. I would have liked to seen Jericho more. I would have liked to seen Chelsea Hightower more. And uh, but you know what can you do? So American Idol this past week, the, the next night, well, sort of the same night was that finale for that show. Two night finales in a row. Um, so Scotty versus Lauren. Lauren almost did not go on. And good lord, I'm reading before the show starts that the devil reincarnated herself could be back on the show competing for the title. Miss Sweet Home Alabama. Ellie Reinhardt was almost back. Oh, thank God that didn't happen. Anyway, Lauren uh, had a problem with her vocal cord, but she decided to go on with it. Thank God. Ugh. But so it was Lauren versus Scotty and a country bear jamboree. Well, not exactly, but uh, you know they went head to head, and your winner, of course, was Scotty McCreary. Anyway, <laughs> so that was the big country showdown, and of course, a lot of stars at the Idol finale. You know, you got uh, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, a whole bunch of people. Uh, and the word on the street is that Lauren and Scotty, there may be a little something, something going on with those two. Scotty denies it. Lauren says, maybe. Scotty, you are part of the bro club, my man. Anyway, <laughs> keep denying it. <laughs> uh, he's, Scotty, you are a pimp. So, now, um, I usually don't talk too much about music. We're talking music a lot here. But, uh, I'm not really all into the hipster stuff. Just getting back into that after a few years of not being into the hipster stuff. So I have hired a correspondent uh, to cover what happened down at the Billboard Music Awards this week. Uh, he is very good with uh, the media and uh, the pop music. Um, he is actually a rapper himself. He's just coming up the charts right now. His name is Bubble Bloa. And he is here. Are, uh, are you there, Bubble Blower? Yo, 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 this your boy, Bubble Blower, a.k.a. Cracker Boy, a.k.a. Mr. Harry Sack. Yo, I'm here to tell y'all what happened down at the Bill Bob Music Awards. Yeah, boy. Well, first up, the show started off with Rihanna and Britney. Yo, you girls in the S&M, take off my pants and whip me. When it comes to awards, Taylor Swift set the bar. Girl, all you gotta do is ask. You can suck the teardrops off my guitar. Yo. Another one of the big winners was Justin Bieber. Yo, boy, I'd be amazed if he ever gets a piece of that Gomez Bieber. My girls, Kesha, 
Lady Gaga and Katy Perry didn't get any awards. That's an all-time low. It ain't just Kessler's song. It's the voters who blow. Y'all, I almost forgot. The whole thing was hosted by Ken Jeong. I haven't last, laughed that long since I accidentally seen the size of Robert Pattinson's dong. Yo, this your boy Bubble Blower, and your bubble has just been popped. Ladies and gentlemen, Bubble Blower. Oh, and uh, by the way, you can look for his new album called Number One Clam Diver. Coming out soon. So, uh, now it is time to see who got engaged this week. Hmm. That's right, but something's got to hold this booty down. Oh, good, good segue, Wes. Yeah, baby. All right, well, <laughs> Kim Kardashian is engaged this week uh, to Chris Humphreys, and he has the duty of pleasing the booty. Oh, boy. But, uh, really? Is it really just for the TV show? Some people are saying. Uh, I, I really, I would like to ta start my bets now. The dogs are making their bets. Um... I'd bet a dollar that it lasts, uh, I don't know, a couple months. Everyone on the internet saying two months, four months, six months. Put your bets down right here on YouTube. So, uh, speaking of uh, bets and whatnot, we have an update on our segment, Who's Got the Herpes? That's right. Yeah, should I do a musical interlude for that? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, do a, sing a song about STDs. Um... A viewer named Pam Brown believes that Charlie Sheen's got the herpes. So uh, that is her guess. Anyone else who believes of the who knows the think they know this A-list celebrity who has herpes, uh, put it on here. <laughs> Pam Brown, we'll see if you're right. Now time for one of my favorite segments. It's time for fanboys are us, and the crowd goes wild. Here comes the air guitar, baby. And the drums, air drums. Air flute. All right, air maracas. All right, <laughs> enough air instruments. All right, air piccolo, woo -hoo! All right. <laughs> so, uh, big Dark Knight Rises news. You know we're doing the countdown to the Dark Knight Rises. Um, picks on the internet have come out. First of all, this is a true pick. This is off the website. Here is your first look at Tom Hardy as Bane. Now this next picture, it's a uh, rumor to be uh, Anna Hathaway dressed in the Catwoman outfit. Uh, we're not technically 100% sure if that's what it is. It could be a fake, but uh, it was found on the web this week. So take a look and see what you think for yourself. Well, whether you believe the Catwoman picture or not, either way, rumor has it that the teaser trailer for The Dark Knight Rises will be in front of the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 in July. So, maybe one better go over and see that. Anyway, <laughs> one being me, maybe. Uh, now on to some news close to my heart, some Star Wars news. Uh, yes, I did watch the... Uh, live telecast or podcast, whatever you want to call it, from uh, the Star the Star Tours opening in uh, at Disney Hollywood Studios. So what? <laughs> it was great. It was it was epic. So uh, George Lucas, who was a Jedi in that uh, in the podcast, <laughs> for those of you who watched it, that was awesome, right? Um, he tells fans that uh, Star Wars 3D, which is, you know, Star Wars is coming out in 3D next year. Um, they're re-releasing it. I said that on here before. That it will not suck like other 2D and 3D conversions. Um, so, basically Alice in Wonderland. Uh, <laughs> that other movies that, you know, have been converted to 3D. Um, the Phantom Menace is the one that's going to kick it off. And that's slated to release February 10th. 2012. So that will be the first Star Wars in 3D. Um, Emperor Palpatine. 
do you think that Star Wars in 3D will suck? No. No. No, I don't want to go to the big plane. Well, now, now I got a news for all you Trekkers out there. Fans of the first Star Trek movie uh, by J.J. Abrams, he's got a new one coming out, Star Trek II, of course. Uh, that, that was slated to come out in the summer of 2012. It has now been pushed back, as Taylor Swift would say, back to December. <laughs> anyway, uh, so December of 2012, expect Star Trek DOS. So, and now it is time for your favorite time of the week. And mine. Time for me to make my box office prediction the B O P. Yeah, baby. So, last week I said, Our pirates number four on Stranger Tides would be number one. And it was. Yeah, Mama Sita. Well, that makes me 87 and 26. This week, huge Memorial Day weekend at the box office. You got, I mean, you still got pirates out there. You still got Thor out there, for God's sake, really. Um, you know, hang, Hangover 2 opens, and of course, Kung Fu Panda 2 opens. Um, you got to take all of those into consideration. But uh, in my opinion, I'm going with The Hangover 2. I will think that will be the number one film at the box office. Um, I saw The Hangover 2, Part 2, um, so check out my review right here on the YouTube. So, oh, by the way, speaking of our pirates, I th this week's Babe of the Week is the mermaid, Serena, from the Pirates film. Her, hopefully I don't butcher this. Her name is Astrid Burgess Frisbee. Check her out, baby. Oh yeah, I'd like to lick the plankton off of her. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> till next week, peeps. Don't you dare miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And of course, check out every single one of my movie reviews at RottenTomatoes.com. So, check out the Hangover 2 review, and check out all my reviews while you're at it for Memorial Day weekend. You get nothing to do. So, thanks again to the Bubble Blower. Thank you, my homeboy. Till next week, peeps. Troop. <laughs>